the video, I need to show you guys these new shirts that are available on 144racing.com, link in description. They are my favorite shirts yet. They are so badass. I put a little teaser of them in the last video, but they are live on the site and there's not that many. So if you guys want one, make sure you hit the link below and go grab them. Take a look at how sick these are. The detail on the car is 10 out of 10. We got the iconic let's go baby on there. And then we also have my racing number and Anderson Racing on the front. These things are so good. We ended up switching to an American Apparel blank. The last blank was good, but it was a little too thick for my liking. These things are awesome. They're still a, a heavy blank, but when you wash them, they are nice and smooth. So like I said, if you want one, link below. Let's get back to the video. a little more effort than I thought it would, but we got it on. He got all the parts out. We'll go over what he got. I think he's doing like STI, break. I don't know what he's doing, but. Finding stuff that the car came. So let's go on it. So I saw it had PBM lower yeah. arms. Here, let's bring McCarthy. It's a lift. We can go all the way up. Oh, you don't have to, dude, look at this exhaust. You don't have to lay on the ground, Chris. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> No, it maxes out. Oh, you got some good head. You got some good head on the back. Oh my, Chris! What the hell? You can't drive on those, dude. I guess we're gonna need new rears. Threw the belts on that. Chris, dude. Look at this. Look at this. It should be like. I'm not worried about this. I'm worried about the tire. I was about to pop in my face. Look at the front one. This I did see because it's missing the fender liner. Oh, this no, this one's not nearly no, as wait, bad. Wait, there's a surprise. Oh, yeah, no, right. you still have <laughs> loads of <luck. laughs> You didn't get through to the metal yet. Those are literally about to pop. Another Chris. ten thousand you put there. <laughs> Dude, you got to get tires now. Yeah. Good thing uh, we can use www.tirestreets.com. You could use code GRANT15, McCarthy. And the new tire machine, too. Yeah. <laughs> Two for one. Special. This is no. your first time looking underneath this car, right? Yeah. It's it looks pretty, pretty clean. clean. I don't know what the hell this thing is. Looks like a What's can like of sardines. That or something Wes smokes out of. <laughs> oh, man. Look, look no, it does look good, though. What happened here? Maybe that's the rock you hit this it morning. It is fresh. Um, Overall, the car looks great, honestly. Now it's gonna stop. I just need to roll. Oh, it's got a nice NVIDIA exhaust, though. Sing sweet. We have to pull all the wheels off. What did we jack it up on over here? What did I go on? Yeah. The frame rail. See? Frame rail? Yeah. Frame rail? Yeah. I'd rather do that than pinch weld, pinch weld. If That's I cannot nice. use a pinch weld, I'd rather. The more you learn. All right, let's get these wheels off. That need to go to the junkyard because the tires are so bad. I thought this was the B. Chris, there. this is so bad, <laughs> Don't dude. Don't cut yourself. All right, so you got a new pad. So those are 20, pretty much everything's a 2019 BRZ with the Brembo package. With the oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. The website. So they did say you need the front caliper bolts. That's good. I guess it's the thread I hate pitch. rusted bolts anyway. Yeah, so. so then the thread pitch is slightly different. Oh, into the caliper itself. Correct. Yeah, yeah, okay. That yep. makes sense. Got so it. where'd you get the, the calipers from? Rock Auto is the really? pack. Cheap, cheap, no cores. No way, these thing. were from Rock Auto. Yep. Everybody's wow. selling the whole swap for like two grand. Just put a Brembo be. sticker on here? Grant's Wait, quick lube sticker quick on it? Stick. Yeah. Let me see these. Yeah. So these are... Like STI, FRS, uh, or the new way, dude. Are we gonna fit behind your wheels? I think I'm with like space or anything. This, uh, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out today, boys. <laughs> Can't do this. God damn, damn boxes upside down. Oh, here's the rear, McCarthy. Perfect. How it look? Really Juicy. nice. Dude, these things, I can't believe how nice these are. All I'm concerned that you don't have is the banjo bolts. I have it. They're probably in here, but that's my biggest concern to go to the caliper from the brake line. Is it on? Nope. There's no hardware on it. It did come with crush washers for the banjo fittings, but uh, no banjo fittings. That's how they get you. The banjo bolts are a thousand dollars. All right. Well, uh, wait, but it has 
What about the banjo bolts that are on there now? Uh, potentially. Yeah, they yeah, could, yeah, they could potentially be... be the same. If not, we can Stay go tuned. to... <laughs> yeah, we can go to... We, we can have Mamano or someone run and grab hardware at Advance or AutoZone. If only there were somebody standing here with their hands in their pockets. <laughs> hands on the top. All right, let's, uh, let's get this stuff out, organized, get the garbage cleaned up because I'm neurotic and hate garbage in the shop. And then we'll start pulling everything apart. think we should do Chris is just take the caliper and caliper bracket off in one like yeah. just take everything off at once I'm with you and then I well first I think we should crack all the brake lines we'll let the fluid dump out what are we gonna do all right do you have a grinder because I did yep look it up we're gonna, yeah, gonna to just cut the dust shield you yeah just to a lip off it. Of it yeah exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. I got a saws all the time I'm kidding Perfect. all right let's put this thing up yeah. get the calipers right. off all right Getting all the brake fluid out of this thing. I don't even think, okay, just kidding. We've spilled a little drop, but for the most part, got the buckets hanging. It's almost like we've done this before. All right, let's keep going. Brake line's off, caliper's off next. There we go. And uh, should be right. Can't wait to see. These pads are probably- Oh, they're probably smoked. Pads that came with the car. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. The rotors don't look that bad, but the pads look pretty smoked, so. Honestly, I think that the guy that had the car I just want to make it look cool. Slamming yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pull the front calipers off if you don't mind, McCarthy. All right. I'm going to keep going. Could you film for me? I'm going to go pull it Yeah, I got you. Just film from over there. Yeah. Oh, filming. Ooh. Getting it done or what? He uses all the power tools. He gives me all the hand tools. Hey, Chris. Since uh, I know you have a high quality coilovers on that car, decided to Come reach on. out to BC and get you a brand new set. So, Come on, dude, these I aren't really you, BMW. I got you a set of DS, which are digressive series coilovers. They're for the street, but they'll also be good for drifting. That's They, they call them the drift spec, yeah. but they'll be good for the street too. We have to give a shout out to BC because I reached out when you told me you wanted to do the brakes on this. I was like, oh, I got a scheme. I gotta scheme them somehow. So <laughs> reach out to them. They sent these out for this car. They're freaking awesome. Now we have a little more work to do. I drove this thing and it sucked. So <laughs> when you told me you wanted to come and do the brakes, I go, oh, we gotta put coilovers on this thing. Go. Now we get another unboxing video. <laughs> yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Gotta put some stickers on the car. I think this is gonna be a good upgrade from the old crappy race lands this thing currently has. So I figured this was a perfect time to show him What's up, Dodd? I just surprised McCarthy with some coilovers. Get rid of the old shitty race lands. Oh, hell yeah. So, what's up, man? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So, we have a little more work to do now, McCarthy, but... Uh, I'm gonna need the power tools now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love seeing my friends stoked. So, this is gonna be good. Won't be that much more. We already have half of the rear apart, so... I say we do the rears first, and then we'll do the fronts after, because uh, typically the rears are usually a little harder to do, so I'd rather do that first. Jeez, McCarthy all over the brand new box, dude. What are you oh, doing? No. <laughs> um, so the game plan we just came up with is to get the rear completely done, coilovers, brakes, calip or coilovers, rotors, calipers, get all that sorted, then move to the front and uh, and do that to the front as well. So, and then, like I said, my only concern is here, Chris, let's try it right now. Uh, nope, not the bolts, but the banjo bolts. Oh, good call. So these are the rears right here. And these are the fronts. So let's just see if. Rears? That's a rear, yeah. <laughs> Bless Excuse you, dude, sorry. jeez. I'm allergic to all this bullshit here. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, fuck McCarthy. There you go. Okay, cool. We don't even need new banjo bolts, which oh, is really nice. Nothing better than using a U-set banjo bolt. That was my only concern. And so if the banjo bolt fits, okay. I'm assuming the brake cow the brake Jeez, that's a lot of bullshit in here today, huh? Dude, it's all the cows in your backyard. <laughs> you Shut up. Um, okay, let's uh let's look up a template for cutting the dust shield and we'll get that done. Alright, so we got the lip cut off the dust shield, came out really good. I ground it down so it's nice and smooth. We'll throw a coat of paint on it, but we do have to cut here for the larger caliper. Not much, really, at all. So I'm glad you held that up because what we'll do is we'll just go we'll leave some extra room like that. And then like that. So we'll cut it, and then once we cut it, we'll 
put some uh, cardboard behind it and then spray paint it so it doesn't rust. It should be nice and easy. <laughs> All right, so one thing McCarthy forgot is rear caliper hardware. Actually, you didn't even really forget. It just didn't really say you needed them, right? But thankfully, I got the good old stainless jet ski bolt bucket and we have the correct hardware. So we were able to get them on. We got the dust shield trimmed on the driver's side. It looks damn Dude, that good. Looks so fire. It does look so look good. That. So good. Yeah, it does look really good. Pull this back off, paint this, get the rotor on, get this on, and then we gotta drop the coilovers out. But figured we'd wait to put the new coilovers in until we paint in case we get any oversprays. So it's probably better off that way. Dust shields are cut and painted. I had to fix McCarthy's side. He cut it. It's like he had his eyes closed the whole time or something. Right bull pattern. I would spin it, see if it hits. Actually, we can just look. Okay. Nope, clear. Plenty of clearance. Um, here, McCarthy, I have a gift for you. I have some non chloridine Valvoline brake parts cleaner. I think it's called automotive parts cleaner, but... Go for it. All right, toss her on, Randy. Everyone's Randy today. I also love how the two of us are working. There's six people standing around. It's like a union job. Yeah, Look at these. Yeah. No, hey, to be fair, Dodd said he would help if we needed help. I Question. I know that you bought a oh, stud yeah, remover yeah, yeah. tool. Did you bring studs? Uh, I, I needed to evaluate how many studs we needed, and then we were going to the parts store. So you don't have studs? Well, the good thing about the studs is that they're at the parts store right now. <laughs> All right, we'll worry yeah, about that well, later. I just want to make sure I got the self adjuster. Hey, Chris, you want to see something crazy? What's that? When you spin the wheel, oh the self adjuster God. goes to wherever you need it to be. But, well, guys, if you're putting rotors on, make sure you put them where the self adjuster is at the bottom because the rotors don't spin. Right, Chris? I do the side my damn self. All right, my side's complete. Pads, rotors, brake lines on. McCarthy is just finishing up his side. God damn, do these look good, dude. Real good. Oh, did you perfect. clean, did we clean both rotors? I did, yep. Okay. Rear's almost done. We're gonna do the coilovers next. And um, then we're moving to the front. How do you preload this? So, it's funny you ask, yeah, sir, because I'll show Wes. you. So, we're gonna take it from here. We just got the rear coilovers out. Uh, before we put the new BCDS series in, we're going to set the spring preload and set the ride height. You said you wanted a little bit higher than it was before. Correct, yep. Okay, so what we'll do, Chris, is we'll just measure the entire shock body overall and then just set the ride height, you know, 10 mil higher or whatever you want. I will show you how to, a lot of the times these come pre-set up um, already but I like to just triple check. So, all right, so to set preload, you take the slack out, right? You jam those together, and then you're gonna turn the upper adjuster until there's coilover spanner wrench in between. So, we'll hold the bottom one, yeah. twist the top one. Until there's Banner width between, and then that'll set the preload for the shock. Okay. All right, rear is all done. We got the BC Racing DS series coilovers in, McCarthy's fake Brembo's, new rotors, all good to go. We gotta move to the front, do the calipers, coilovers in the front, and then we're good to go. <laughs> all right, it's time to do the front. McCarthy, before we do the front, I have one more surprise. Come on. The knife, where are we going? You have to open these boxes. All right, so it kind of has to do with the front end, so I figured we would open it up now. Um, just get to it. Here, let me get you, here, sit down, Chris. Oh, my Take boy. a chair. This is like Christmas. Yeah, well, is it, it, both of them? Yeah, it's, it's both of them. And the engine stand? So, I don't know uh, what's in what box. Obviously, I have not opened it up, but. What do we got here? This one looks illegal based upon the... So, uh, I'm pretty sure this box came from Australia. Dude, I think it's vibrating, you hear that? <laughs> no oh, God way! Dang, there's something on the box. 